Hi everyone, Marlene here with Buffalo Check Chicks. It has really been one of those days. I am so late getting this out. Everything went wrong. Ah! Okay, I better talk quieter. Anyways, that's one of my surprises for October 25th when I do my home tour. I'm trying to prevent you guys from seeing what's in my house right now because I really want to surprise everybody. So, today's Crafty Wednesday. I started this video out uh, doing my three-tier tray. And uh, here's one of my doggies. Come on, baby. Did my three-tier tray. Everything went wrong. Things kept... Hold on. <laughs> Come here, love. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This is Roxy. Oh, here's the other one. Everything kept tumbling over on my three... I love you, too. On my three-tier tray. And so I finally got that done. It should have taken five minutes. It took about, I don't know, ten minutes. And then I wanted to show you my... Uh, china hutch i finally got all the joseph figurines out of that and put in the curio cabinet that i found at goodwill for nine dollars and 79 cents what a bargain so anyways this hutch here and i'll show you i did a little snippet is all crystal a few little odds and ends that i don't have a place for and then i'm showing you my uh, curio cabinet that i found at goodwill that was nine dollars and 79 cents with all my Joseph figurines. I love it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of those uh, battery operated light bars to it. They have some with a remote control. And uh, I'm gonna add that because I do want more lighting. So after that, I decided to make, there's a project I wanted to share with you and it's making a faux candle. This literally costs almost nothing to make. It is made out of a paper towel holder and a spool, uh, just a cardboard spool, you know, of your ribbon. Uh, it was empty, so I used that. Anyways, I'm going to show you. So it's a faux candle project. And what's cool about it is you can use it for Halloween. You can paint it any color. That's another thing. I ran out of my spray paint. It started sputtering. I was painting it white and ran out of paint. So then I had to uh, do it in black. But I like the black for Halloween, so you'll see, you'll see. But anyways, I just wanted to come on and say hi. And this has <laughs> just been the weirdest day ever. And uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Now, tomorrow is Thrifty Thursday. And I have a few little things uh, for you for that day. Uh-oh, come here, baby, what's wrong? Now my dog's probably going to hack on my carpet. <laughs> it's been one of those days. So anyways, I just wanted to come on and say hi. And I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Mwah. So I started on my three-tier tray. Everything went wrong. I'm sitting outside, so you're going to hear cars. It's just one of those days. Most of these items here are from Dollar Tree. Uh, that is a very old silver uh, gravy ladle from Oneida from probably back in the 1800s. And I did find that at Goodwill, and I looked it up. Very interesting. So I'm just going to start adding some pumpkins, some spiders. This is uh, going to kind of be a spider theme on here. And I'm not going to talk all the way through here. I'm just going to let you watch this. And uh, yeah, it took me a long time. <laughs> long, long time, and it shouldn't take long. I have a hard time with three-tiered trays sometimes. And... Uh, this was one of those times I just couldn't get it together and then everything fell and I have to put it back up and okay that's from Dollar Tree too I got that a couple years ago the only thing that's not from Dollar Tree on here I think is uh, it it's shaped like a little uh, casket and it says happy Halloween and that came from Walmart 
Okay, so I'm going to be quiet now for a while. Mom's sitting out in the family room watching TV. You'll probably get a peek or two of her. And that's the baby's uh, dollhouse on the floor. She loves that. Also from the Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm going to let you watch for a while. No matter what I did, that owl kept falling over. It almost ended up in the trash a few times. It was so, <laughs> so frustrating. These little mini plants, I have two of them. They came from Michael's last year. I always like to add a little bit of greenery.
So this is the unfun part. <laughs> and I did take that tag off that uh, sign on the very top tier, that spider sign. So I decided to cover this with spider webs. Boy, that was not fun, but there it is. In its glory, it's my spider themed three tier tray. And after all that, I think it came out pretty cute. I'm happy with it. So there she is. That's the sign I'm talking about, the Happy Halloween sign, like a, shaped like a little casket. That's from Walmart. So, all right, all done with it. Let's put it up on the counter, that big old bag of spider webs up there. I'll probably use them on something else, but yeah, there's a close-up shot. <laughs> and I like it. Spider Venom. Those signs are cool. They came from Dollar Tree. I really like those. My Dollar Tree right now is just empty of Halloween. There is nothing left unless they restock it. There, I went there the other day looking for something and there's nothing. Because my friend Melanie Thompson, she took all the creepy cloth. There's no creepy cloth left in the United States. <laughs> okay, here's my China Hutch. I am so happy with it now. I took all the Joseph figurines out, and that is all of our crystal. There's a few odds and ends in there that I don't have a place for, but for the most part, it's just full of our crystal, and Mom and I love it. It just is so beautiful. So the Joseph figurines that were in this cabinet went into the brand new curio cabinet, this one here, and I found this at the Goodwill for nine dollars and 79 cents so all these figurines were in the crystal hutch now they're here and they have their own spot but i'm gonna get more lighting to light both those cases up okay next project and i'm gonna let you watch most of this um i had made some before out of white these are just uh the little ones are the toilet paper uh cardboard uh and the tall one is from a paper towel, and that's an empty spool that I had from ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I want to show you how you can make faux candles so easily that literally just cost pennies. So take your glue gun, go down the cardboard and squirt some hot glue on it, go all the way around it, and that's going to be your uh, faux melted wax. So just make sure you let it dry well. And then, uh, yeah, just keep spreading that hot glue on there and down the sides, make it look like wax. So now I'm going to hot glue it to that empty spool and uh, it actually looks like a candlestick holder. So just take your hot glue and run around the edge of it and glue it together. So simple. So I took it out front and I intended on spray painting it white and I ran out of white paint. So I ran to the garage to see what I had. I didn't want to go to the store and I found black paint. And I thought, well, that might look pretty good for Halloween. So I spray painted the entire piece black. And then I got out my red paint, the bright red, and I painted over the um, hot glue drippings to make it look like wax. This is a, a little votive candle, battery operated, that I had bought at Dollar Tree actually a couple years ago. And I just set that on the top of it. It's still wet and it's stuck to the wax paper. <laughs> so 
So you'll see, I, I took that uh, votive candle and set it up on the top. And uh, you could put a piece of uh, tape or something in there to hold it down on the inside so you don't see the tape. But I didn't have to do that. It fits snug. And uh, there it is. And it looks like a tapered candle. And I had this uh, roll of its burlap uh, ribbon, from, also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to take a little piece and uh, glue around that empty spool just for some color. And you can make this any color you like for any holiday. You could do these for Christmas, for Thanksgiving. And uh, like I say, I thought the black looked really cool for Halloween. So I just glued a piece of burlap ribbon around there. And then uh, I thought it looked pretty good. And then uh, I thought that I would just try to stick a bow on it. Now you don't have to put a bow on it. Um, I don't know why I did it. I just felt like trying it. So I had some of that deco mesh and I made a bow like you would tie your shoe and I just hot glued it on and there it is. And I think it came out pretty cute. This would be really cute for Christmas too. Really would. Not in black, of course, but you could do it in green or red. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.